I'm building a tiny vacation home on wheels. Shut up and sit down. morning so I am now going to do a couple upgrades to the van I want to kind of reconfigure some of my storage options so a trip to Ikea this afternoon I think is in order um, I do need to get eventually new rims I would like to repaint it in something that isn't the color white I would thinking of maybe like kind of a space gray or like a gunmetal. I think that would look really cool. I would like to get a roof rack. I do have the moonshade awning, um, so I don't need to get a permanent awning. Um, and then in the back over here, I would like to get a cargo container, like a cargo, I don't know what you call it, cargo rack? Cargo box, galley box, uh, like a Luminous makes that. Um, obviously with the bike rack, which is pretty much permanent, I can't really open the back doors fully, which is fine. Um, and then uh, having the cargo galley box on the back, um, actually the company that I'm looking at, they make it where it just fits in right here. So that would be great. And then obviously I need a spare tire. So the same company makes a spare tire rack in the back. So I do need to buy a spare tire because it's currently under, well, it's not under, <laughs> there is none. It's actually on my vehicle, um, but it would go under the vehicle, which would also make it difficult to get to when the bikes are on the back. So I also think it looks super cool, you know, to have that on the back of the van. Um, other than that, I'm pretty much at a stopping point with the build. Eventually when I get solar, they'll just go ahead and wire that in. Um, but I do have a, um, portable solar panel and then this is my other vehicle um, I'm a proud ally so <laughs> love to support communities and uh, yeah so these are my two little babies my two babies and the more I drive the van the less I want to drive the SUV and every time I try to like put my SUV into drive I keep thinking there's a um, like a lever on my right hand side which there isn't because that's how you start the van so it's very funny going from van to car and back to van to car um, because you know I just uh, it's like when I drove in Japan for four years and then I came back and every time I tried to make a left turn I turned the windshield wipers on so that's always a good learning experience anyway so like I said I'm pretty happy uh, the vans held up really well in the 12,000 miles that I've driven since the end of January so just a few upgrades today and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully the Max van is okay. I hit a tree branch when I was in Austin a few weeks ago. So I hit a tree branch earlier trying to park where I normally park when I do my bike ride, forgetting that my van is a lot taller than my SUV. I think it just got scratched. I can't really see up there. It doesn't look like it cracked or anything. So I think I'm okay. I'm just actually standing on this thing over here, this Home Depot park corral in my flip flops. So I think I'm okay. So I've been sitting in my apartment. I've had a couple calls that I was doing and some other things. And I'm just sitting here looking at the weather and it's had like seven seasons. Yeah, I know we only have four seasons, but there are seven seasons in Texas. And literally it's raining and pouring and now it's sunny and pouring again and raining and I'm like, okay, I would like to work on my van today. <laughs> Houston? <laughs> ah, it's horrible. Anyway, so I sorted out all the Legos yesterday for my daughter. I'm pretty sure I missed a birthday doing that. Um, so that's done. <laughs> and eventually I will sort them all out into each bag with each of the little booklets and then eventually sell them on eBay when we're done with Legos. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm just trying to sit here, have another call at two, and then I'm just gonna maybe work on the van, maybe get to Ikea if it's not, you know, raining too hard. So yeah, it's a Monday. Mondays are good. I can go out and do stuff while everyone's at work <laughs> um, or home, wherever they are. So yeah, just really just kind of eager to get working on the van. Like, do you ever get that feeling where you're just like, ah, I just wanna like, get going on it. 
So because I built the van in 15 days, you know, I have this like superpower mentality of like, I can do it in five minutes. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no, it's raining. I can't go outside with my wood or my, you know, pillows or anything that'll get wet. <laughs> so anyway, in the meantime, just kind of wait in a, another hour or so, finish up my chores for the day, my calls, and then get out and about. So it's now gorgeous outside. Hot and humid, I ran six miles this morning on the treadmill which is I think this whole week it's going to be indoor gym time instead of riding my bike since it's going to rain like crazy until probably Sunday um, but at least I can get some pet projects done so that's always good but yeah let's uh the schizo weather that we have and then a bird pooped on my window <laughs> just, I just don't get a break here do I <laughs> So I think I finally found a use for this thing. I bought this probably, I don't know, like five years ago from Ikea and they don't actually make it anymore. It is a, um, like a plastic medicine cabinet and it's been kind of the bane of my existence. It's just been here and it's done nothing. I've used it for nothing. And then I realized that this would actually fit on the like left-hand side. If you're in the van, you look toward the back doors on the left-hand side where I put my like little cycling backpack and things like that, I could totally use this. It would totally fit. I could just easily attach it to the wall. It has holes in the back. So like over here, it has holes in the back. So I can just attach it to the wall. And I got this on the as is for like five bucks, literally five bucks, I think, or something ridiculous. So always check out the as is aisle in Ikea. They always have some like random, leftover things, discontinued items. So this is actually a really big day for me, actually using this thing. It's like, none of you guys care. <laughs> You're like, what is the big deal? The big deal is that I have been determined to put this to use for years. And now I think I can use it. It's pretty sturdy. It actually clicks closed. So like stays closed. It's not gonna fly open and I'm not gonna get hit by a, you know, cycling bag, on, you know, during my drive. So anyway, I'm gonna see if this works. Um, I just want to kind of tidy things up in the back of the van. I tend to just end up just shoving stuff down the back of my bed toward the end of the trip. Um, and it's really hard to kind of be scrounging around for stuff. So I'm gonna look for storage containers at Ikea. I'm gonna use this thing in my van. <laughs> that is the goal. And then I sorted out all the Legos earlier. So now those are all organized right there. And uh, that's Harriet's room. And then I, we have more Legos, just ridiculous amount of Legos. We're learning piano. I already play piano, but she wants to learn. Hi, Harriet. Can you show us the song that you just learned? Uh, okay. Okay, try it, okay? No, 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 not that song. The other song that we learned. current state of the van and there's Blossom, my daughter's pretend horse. I don't know if she knows if Blossom is real or not, but anyway, building a tiny home on wheels is like beating a dead horse. This one's just a little stiff. Anyway, so yeah, like there's me. <laughs> and um, the plumbing, I still haven't hooked up the uh, fresh water, it's still gray water and currently storage. Um, the fridge is fine. It's really humid and sticky in here, um, obviously. And then the moonshade, which will go under the bed. The toilets upstairs was cleaning that. Um, I'm basically gonna reorganize all of the closets a little better. Um, so what I'd like to do at Ikea is figure out what I can do with this back space here. So right now I've got a toilet roll holder that has all of my hair bands. Uh, this um mat will go under the bed exactly where it's at but under the bed the moonshade will go on this side under the bed i can't really do any kind of headboard or add any more wood to the lower panels because the bed is actually a couch a futon couch from ikea so it has to be able to move up so all i have is basically you know something i can do with the upper panels i've left the edges exposed 
and obviously the ceiling will be redone um, because when I do electrical I'll have to rewire it so right now I just put the fake flowers on there so in the back here um, so I have my um, helmets I have another helmet upstairs I've got my um, window covers I've got roller blades I've got shoe holders so I want to make more use of this space it's about a foot and the reason that it's that way is so that I'm able to get under the bed while the back doors are closed since the bike rack prevents me from opening the doors. So if I go under, obviously I'm not traveling so there's not a lot of stuff in here. You can just see I've kind of got junk and stuff under there. So I think what I want to do is get some kind of pull out uh, under bed storage. Um, when I have the back cargo rack, oh, I get up here. When I have the back cargo rack on the back door, that will enable me to um, be able to put like the toolbox and the um, other accessories like the hose and, and uh, extra shoes and things if it's a waterproof uh, container. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then that little white uh, medicine cabinet thing, I'd like to put it on this side over here and just have it sit next to the bed and that will be just below the height of the bed and I think it'll be a great per kind of permanent storage. Maybe I can put my underwear and stuff in it. Um, and then, yeah, I'd like to maybe not do upper cabinets, but do something with the back door in regards to storage. Um, maybe some magnetic holders like I have here. This is magnetic. So that's basically it. It's really hot in here right now, <laughs> really hot. So if I come down here, sorry, Blossom, um, you have to move out the way. If I come over here, I've got these um, IKEA like uh, vegetable and fruit holders. Um, I do have a little bit of room. I was thinking of maybe doing like a vertical cabinet. Uh, maybe I could do one as wide as where the jackery is at. I do like the way I've done this because I can actually sit on this um, uh, this little cubby holder. Uh, I'm, I am going to get a cushion. And then Ikea does have a seat that I can buy without legs that I was thinking of maybe screwing onto the top of this so I have an extra, uh, an ex extra seat. Um, I can't actually attach it to the back because I need to be able to get this locker open. So that kind of limits like the permanency of this area. And also I need to make sure I leave room for when I put Harriet's travel chair in. Um, so I found a few marine options of fold out uh, jump seats. Um, so either I would attach the jump seat here or I would attach it um, behind the front seat and then I can actually fold the front seat all the way down in a Nissan so it can go all the way forward flat. Um, I would also like to do some kind of countertop that goes across so I was thinking of maybe getting another one of these IKEA um, like a, a chopping boards that has a little lip on the edge so it, it stays in place on this side and it's the same one I used for the sink so I was thinking since I have about two inches that what I would do is attach a second um, a second cabinet that folds or a second uh, chopping board that folds down and then have it hinge up I have some hinges I bought have it hinge up and then get like a um, I've seen this done before where people get like a uh, chain and they attach the chain to the edge of the um, of the uh, chopping board. So that's an option. I think that's what I'm going to work on doing today is kind of making that extended countertop um, because you know not very often do I really open the door, but I would like to have the extra counter space when I'm inside. So that's kind of the plan. And there's the horse. So bye, bye horse. All right, let's go to IKEA. I made a shopping bag online, which is basically like an eye test. I can't even read anything on here. What is it saying? All right, I'm gonna have to remember what I clicked on. So this is what I was thinking of behind the passenger seat is to put one of these, but the um, black version instead of the red version, since uh, I kind of want it to blend in with the front seat. These are also an option. The problem is that they don't actually lock. So they're not the same brand as my original metal lockers that I got from Ikea. These are 
Lixolt and the lockers I have are Holland. And I wish that they made the same kind of locking uh, latch like the one I have. So I was also thinking of maybe stacking a bunch of these um, at the end of the bed by the back door. But again, they don't close or they don't stay locked. So that's the only dilemma. I do like them. And I think the, uh, the tool locker would be great behind the front seat, behind the passenger seat. So for now, I'm just gonna have to kind of, I don't know, <laughs> maybe not use them, but that was an option. That was a dream that I no longer can have. This is the original brand of lockers that I have. So I have a tool locker with a short locker on top of it. And originally I wanted all three, but I didn't realize that you have to have the legs on it. So it wasn't, it was too tall. <laughs> so I basically put the second small locker as you walk in the front door. Um, but as you see, the latch is different, which is what I really love. Um, but the other brand, the Lixalt, um, doesn't have that hole where I could put a carabiner through it. So uh, I really love the metal lockers though. So I'm tripping over <laughs> furniture behind me. I do love the metal lockers because I have the additional storage where I can just magnetize everything and stick everything on the outside or inside of the locker. So I'm very happy with my choice. I just wish that the other brand would have the ability for me to lock it while I'm going 80 miles an hour down a freeway. <laughs> so it's like total first world problems. I cannot put this in my van. This is another option I was thinking of behind the uh, center console where the Jackery is at. Um, the Jackery will actually fit inside this. It's just a um, just a, a storage ottoman. And I think that might be a better option than the cubby hole that I have. And then I could use the cubby hole for food storage behind the passenger seat and just kind of move it over a bit. So I think I'm gonna get one of these um, if I can figure out where it is. And I think that would work pretty well. I think what I'm going to do is move my fruit and vegetable bags into one of these hanging baskets and have it hang just from the ceiling uh, above the um, refrigerator because I'd like to free up the space behind the passenger seat for, you know, putting my jackets and also just kind of, you know, I don't know, just kind of freed up a little bit. So this is what I currently have for my shoes. I just use one of those. Um, so it works out pretty well. I would like to get the cargo rack in the back and store the shoes there instead of under the bed. But for now that works pretty well. They have some other shoe options. I love Ikea. People knock on it, but I'm like, you know what? Like if it breaks, I'm not like married to it. And if it's, you know, sturdy enough, it's cheap. So win-win. This is the countertop that I have in the van. So what I think I'm gonna do is buy one more and then go to Home Depot and get a uh, hinge set that basically will stay open without the chain. If I can do it that way, that would be great. So maybe get kind of some, you know, some kind of like locking hinge. But what I love is that it has this lip on it so it stays in place. So I'm gonna grab one more, they're $20, a little pricey, but you have a countertop. So for 60 bucks, I've got an entire kitchen and then two countertops so pretty reasonable in that respect this is another locker that i've never seen and i think this would actually be great for the um like entryway on the side door to replace the current small locker that's there i think this would be a great option i'm not going to get it today but i would love to be able to put two of these on top of it as a big countertop and I would have tons and tons of storage inside and then that would free up the garage area so that actually would be I don't know that would be a great option the only problem is I'd have to figure out about the leg I could probably use the current leg that I have since it doesn't look like you need to have legs on this one like the other one that I have yeah, that might work, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen this one before. Why have I not seen this one before? This would be perfect. Okay, so I made a decision that I am going to switch out the locker for this one. Maybe not today, but I will eventually, because it'll fit the Drona 
um, soft canvas storage which currently goes under my bed but this would fit if I raise the um, shelf up about two notches then this would fit under it and that way I could fit two of those and then the extra clothing on top shoes and everything yeah I think that's it and then eventually paddleboard under the bed and like all the fun toys <laughs> drone and all that stuff so I think I'm going to maybe I'll just get it today and if I don't use it I can bring it back so yeah okay impulse buy for something I didn't even know existed but I think it's super nice same color and it has a locking mechanism which is the big selling point oh no they're out of it oh Ikea well they'll tell you when the new shipment's coming in so for now I'm not gonna do this <laughs> I think maybe I'll just stick with the cabinet not cabinet idea the um, side table idea I had with this handy dandy chopping board yeah I'll find out when they're gonna have it in they do have another color but it looks like they're completely out I don't know what that is up there and hopefully it's not too heavy so if I can get one next time that should be good and it's pouring with rain again so I guess that's you know the end of that idea but I will come back another day when they have it so just uh, ask the associate to let you know when the shipments coming in and they're pretty accurate and if you just get here right away as soon as it comes in then it'll be here you can also order it online and have it delivered to the store so that's another option I've got a couple weeks before my next trip uh, possibly so uh, yeah so I just uh, I just cry tears into my lovely frozen yogurt which I want to get because they've got delicious yogurt and they have pretzels too now oh cannot believe it in the as is section they have a handy person corner so even if you're not a handy person like me you can still come in and they have like extra cabinet doors legs uh, this is great if you need to make like a door in front of your toilet if the toilet's under the bed that's originally what I wanted to do and I couldn't find a door at the time uh, and then I changed my mind but it's an option so they also have some other stuff I've picked up here before that has been super cheap so lots of good things you can also kind of chop them apart and make whatever you need for your van so I had a productive shopping time and got my ice cream and just sitting here waiting for the rain to end I might be here all night I can just go back in and take a nap on one of the uh, model beds in there <laughs> or something this might be here a while. So it's pissing it down with rain, as you can see. And I have an IKEA pretzel. And it tastes just like the frozen ones that you get in the supermarket. Like in the frozen section. What are they? The super pretzels. When I had this last time, I swear it was the best pretzel I've ever had in my entire life. Maybe close to the one that my friend had sent me in the mail a whole big box box of pretzels for my birthday but this one I swear was like delicious last time and now it just tastes like a frozen pretzel from uh, from the supermarket uh, I don't care whatever I'll live <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do now it's raining and uh, I need to go to Home Depot which is just up the road and get those latches at least I can work in the van while it's raining and it's actually cooled down a little bit it's about 70 degrees now instead of like 92 when I left my house this afternoon so yeah it's only like four o'clock so I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to Home Depot get the brackets and then just work in the van I'm kind of glad I didn't get that big old cabinet uh, I think I really like the small cabinet I have and I think I'm just going to make better use of the garage area and then get that cargo container for the back of the door um, rather than just making a gigantic countertop so I really don't need a big countertop it would be nice I think having the the retractable one is is better so really not good mmm <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a dollar what do you what do you expect for a dollar I guess there is a significant time in your life where you're allowed to be a jerk <laughs> so I could park under the contractor awning over there 
or I could just park in front of the entrance like these guys. But I will take this spot over here because I am not afraid of the rain being British or British. I'm just, uh, just a little bit British, not anymore. Okay, so I am here to find, uh, what am I here to find? I need to find the um, like retractable, I don't even know what they're called, the retractable um, brackets so I can put the uh, chopping board, which is now in the back seat, uh, attach it to the other chopping board so that I have a extended countertop. And I know these things have to exist because I need it. And the Home Depot, which I didn't know was called the Home Depot until just recently. But when I used to walk in there at the beginning of my van build, they'd be like, totally ignore me. And then as I started building and every time I went in there, they're like, okay, what now? <laughs> like, what do you want? And I'm like, I just need some nails. All right, so it's pissing it down. Last stop for today. I might just finish working on this tomorrow, which I was hoping to do it today and I could edit the video and get it uploaded for all my fans. <laughs> so thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe, it means a lot. You know, I've never had more than, you know, four people interested in what I do. So having 212 people right now is, is pretty cool. All right, let me go in, see if they got what I need. And then I think I'm just, uh, crap, I gotta go to the supermarket. Trader Joe's, which is all over there. I picked the worst day to go shopping and get all my stuff done. Like I said earlier, it was like sunny and blue skies and now we have apocalypse and flash flood warning. <laughs> this day is just getting like nastier and nastier. My hair is doing some ridiculous thing. I have curly hair for real, so it doesn't, meld well with the cold rainy weather anyway so i got everything i needed which i will show you later when i start working and i'm gonna go head to the supermarket and then head back to my house and just figure out how to make this little i'm walking around home depot going i want to make this and they're like crazy lady so uh this is rush hour traffic too on a monday i guess i forgot that people go to an office now <laughs> so I do miss that part of COVID. I miss like nobody being on the road. I don't know if I like this. Look, bus people are driving. Just puttering along like speed limits like 35 miles an hour. So anyway, I'm not holding the holding the phone, <laughs> so I'll get a little holder. Uh, anyway, somebody was like, you drive the best ever with a GoPro. I'm like, why do you see a GoPro? I don't even have a GoPro, it broke. I would like a GoPro. Um, so this is, I think this is boss. We shall find out how to get back to the supermarket and Trader Joe's. No, I think I went the wrong way. I should have gone one more down. So I will just go this way. Who cares? <laughs> it's weather. Oh. It is a new day of what the heck is this weather going to do today? So I am going to actually just tackle this and just push it out um so this is my idea for the collapsible kitchen counter so the first thing i have are these l brackets which i used before to secure the other one of these um chopping boards ikea chopping boards to the wall which is currently in the van then i have these two uh, gate hinges and I looked at a piano hinge I looked at uh, closet hinges door hinges but these are a little bit tougher they have a little bit more um, or less give so I think it's better because uh, that way the whole thing if it just suddenly collapses it's not just gonna like fly down it's actually gonna slowly and calmly collapse so I think the gate hinges are better they're a lot sturdier and they look pretty cool um, these are uh, just like felt uh, adhesive blankets that will go on the bottom of the um, like the edge, I guess the lip. So if you look at this chopping board, it has a lip on it and that'll be kind of the edge. Um, and so these will go along the bottom of that so that if it does fall down or I put it down, it's not going to scratch up the side of the, uh, the locker. And then this is a carabiner. Is it carabiner or carabiner? Anyway, carabiner, and that's going to go on one end of the four foot chain that I had Home Depot cut. Um, this chain will attach to the, uh, the, the roof, I guess, uh, in one of the holes using this. And then the bottom will attach somehow 
to the bottom of the uh, of the uh, chopping board so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to attach yet or even if I need a longer chain um, but for now if I just get at least this far of connecting it to the other chopping board we can figure out how I'm going to actually lift it up later so pretty excited I think it'll look super cool so yeah let's get this done Okay, so the moon shade is set up. I just attached it to the car next to me. I'm sure my neighbor won't mind. I'm just kidding, that's my car. Anyway, look at this, how cool this is. So you can just attach it using the suction cups, which come with the moon shade, or you can get these um, like magnets. So I got these off Amazon, but you can also get them from moon shade. So this makes a really great work area, especially when we're unsure if it's gonna actually rain or not today. Um, also keeps, you know, the sun off when there is sun, which there is none today. So this is my little workstation. I still have the horse, I gotta take her upstairs. Sorry horse, she's like my bodyguard horse. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is uh, kind of where I'm gonna be working. And what I really love is that the moonshade can fold up to the size of a tent, uh, like a tent bag, uh, super light. And uh, there's a coupon in the comments below if you click the link and apply the coupon, you'll save uh, $30 and it just takes a few days probably five to seven days to receive it and yeah i love it uh, super versatile and see you can see the top of my car right here all the debris from the trees and things and at one time a shingle like fell off and hit my car uh probably the same as like a 144 um, mercedes sprinter or a small pro master um so obviously i need a second box i still have to do all the edges over here and then this last end and things are blowing around outside. That's weird. Let me close this door here. Uh, while I was building it and I heard this thud. So uh, this will just protect me from getting hit by NASA space junk since we're in Houston and you know, other stuff. So um, yeah, so let's get started on this. Hopefully this will work, fingers crossed. Okay, so this went through, it doesn't go all the way through, but it will hold the bracket in place since really the, the point of the bracket is just to kind of uh, keep this from flipping over. So I just really need the L bracket just to kind of hold it up rather than anything else. Okay, so this should work, let's see. Which is really all I need um, and then I'm just going to secure it on the side here with some other screws that aren't burning <laughs> I swear I've like surprised I even have fingers left here okay so the first one I'm going to do is I think the bottom one like right here okay all right Okay, good, that one's done. And now the second one. Again, it's just to hold this in place. All right, that works. And eventually I can glue it and stuff so it doesn't look so bad. So yeah, so that looks kind of industrial and cool. The next thing I'm gonna do is drill these in place. It doesn't really matter where they go. Um, the easy thing is that because there's like the extra hinge bit, it doesn't have to exactly line up with the other, um, the other chopping board. So I'm just gonna drill these in with the same kind of screws. Again, they're kind of ugly. I really don't care. Um, I think it looks kind of industrial because it kind of matches the rest of the uh, crappy job that I did. So <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's Ikea. I can always, you know, switch it out. But I did want to get that K2 
cabinet and that cabinet would actually come out probably another let's see this is 19 inches another 10 inches which wouldn't be really that far It'd probably be to about maybe the edge and I think that would look super cool that I wouldn't need to have the fold down cabinet but they're out of it at Ikea so like I said I would probably reuse this leg and then uh, as the leg of the new cabinet and I wouldn't have the storage underneath the cabinet because I won't need to use the legs on it which is good um, so that's just a consideration I really think I'll get it because the extra storage would be nice um, but for now let's do this this is a fun fun little project the horse is not impressed <laughs> I'm just gonna say that looks so good okay so this is how it goes up like this and there's a little bit of like tension that's the word I was looking for tension on these uh, gate brackets so this goes across and now I just have to figure out how I'm going to attach the chain I'm thinking of maybe using the L brackets as a hook possibly I don't know I might have to go back to Home Depot and get some kind of like other type of bracket I was hoping maybe just to hook the chain around, but I don't think the chain's long enough. So I think I am gonna go back to Home Depot and get a seven foot chain or a six foot chain. And that way I could just hook it around this like lip right here and then just hook it to the ceiling without having to drill anything. That looks so good. Oh my God. 
I'm so happy. <laughs> that looks really good. And the good thing is that it's not going to bang because it doesn't go all the way to the edge, which is fine. Perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, <laughs> look what I made. <laughs> Okay, this is the solution I came up with. So I added the extra L brackets right here. Thank you, Blossom, for helping me. Um, and I'm just gonna hook the chain into each one of these and then hook it around this handy dandy handle, which I think works fine, only because I don't really have anything to hook it up to up here without more drilling, which I really don't wanna do, I, you know, because I've got electrical to do later and I wanna rip the ceiling down, which still looks marginally like crap. So let me see how this works. I actually think that looks kind of cool. I mean, I have to get rid of that extra little chain bit there, but it works. I have extra counter space now. Oh no, I gotta learn how to cook. What? <laughs> okay, I think that works. It's super, well, let's just do the true test to see whether it can, it can take weight or not. And now for the big reveal. It works, look at that. That's super cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> the horse is like, what are you doing to me? I gotta take you upstairs now. I don't know why you're in my van still. So that's it. That is my very easy industrial type Ikea-ish looking uh, extended countertop. Love it. Welcome to my home. Oh, you want to come in? Okay, hang on one second. Come on. Okay, fine. Stay outside then. Bye.